So I did my current event research on contaminated water in the state of Maryland. Um, so basically industrial innovation is constantly changing. There's always new processes and, and types of chemicals and just things, new, new things to produce and new ways of producing them. Uh, but when it comes to using new procedures and new technology, there's issues that will pop up. And uh, recently the state of Maryland has had problems involving toxic chemicals being released into their waterways by industrial facilities. Um, many of these plants are dumping chemicals. Uh, they call them forever chemicals. They're dumping them into the river that f or rivers that flow into the Chesapeake Bay. These, these can actually cause cancer, so it's pretty serious. They're known as PFAS chemicals. Uh, as of 2022, it has been statistically proven that Maryland is a top contender with states or among states with the highest amount of chemical waste by weight. Uh, a lot of health professionals think that the only way to stop this is to change the chemicals altogether, just find alternatives. Um, so hundreds of millions of pounds of these chemicals are dumped yearly, and this is only increasing year after year. And when I'm talking about PFAs, PFAS, refer, I'm referring to a group of a few thousand chemicals that are actually found in uh, cleaning supplies, cooking supplies, paints, and a uh, big one is fire resistant foams. And the prime issue is that these companies were not originally enforced to report the amount of PFA emissions um, that they were releasing. And studies have actually shown that these PFAs are linked to several health related issues, um, cancer, thyroid disruption. Um, a lot of times, vaccines become less responsive when, when these PFAs are found in the body. So uh, recently, a nonprofit organization called Earth Justice sued the Environmental Protection Agency on accusations of them finding and using illegal loopholes um, used by military bases and industrial facilities. And they were basically avoiding accurate, uh, avoiding to make accurate reports on their PFA, PFA emissions. Um, as of this year, the Biden administration has actually created a billion dollar grant to address and find solutions to, to this problem. Maryland specifically had, was given around $150 million. Um, and they are using this grant, trying to find alternative, alternative chemicals which will in turn reduce the amount of contaminants in their water in the future. And uh, currently they are regulating these chemical wastes by enforcing a maximum contaminant level of PFAs in their drinking water. And I have a, uh, a little graph. So this graph shows the estimated population uh, widespread exposure to PFAs and PFOs from drinking water in the United States. So try and get this up. So if you can read it, it's um, as the population, like areas that are more populated, these people are more likely to be exposed to PFAs and uh, it's just not good. 